mighty Shapa. All right, all praises. Somebody give me, I'm only going to bring out a couple. Uh, somebody get me um, Isaiah 24 and 1. And somebody uh, get me um, Jeremiah 3 and 23. All right, just like the brother said, it's no mistaking about it in these last days. All right, the so-called white man is at his end. All right, not only is he at his end, but a lot of our people, they just don't understand and they just don't get it. Okay, because why? Because this whole thing, you just, you got to understand the so-called white man and everybody else that's in this nation. Okay, they got everything backwards. Okay, and a lot of our people don't understand. Okay, is that the spirit, okay, of everything that's out here, okay, is totally backwards and totally upside down. Not only is it upside down, okay, but what our people got to understand also is that the so-called Europeans along with the other nations, they've had their fun, okay? They've had their fun. Not only have they had their fun, okay, but their time is just about up, okay? The so-called Europeans that's running this earth, okay, they've not only had their fun, but they've moved this whole entire earth okay and unrighteousness all right they've had their time okay and their time is just about up all right and we can't say it enough and we can't explain it enough to our people okay that you got to get yourselves back together okay here in these last days all right and the right is clear it's on the wall okay a lot of the things that you so-called puerto ricans and negroes and cubans okay and west indians as you see okay you're not taking heed to anything that the most high okay is putting out here before your face all right it's been a long time coming Okay, we need some salvation. Give me the book of Isaiah. Which one of y'all got Isaiah 24 and 1? Okay, call it and read it, King. Come on. The book of Isaiah, chapter 24, verse 1. Behold, the Lord maketh the earth empty. That's right. The Most High said, listen now. He said he's making the whole entire earth empty. All right? Did you hear that? The Most High said he's making the whole entire earth empty. Nothing is like it used to be. Okay, not only is everything drying up, don't you know the Mississippi River is, dry, is dried up from the summertime? There's no boats, okay, no shipments that can get through there. The most I said, he's making his whole entire earth empty. That's a sign that's going to come to pass, okay, that you ain't paying attention to. Read it again. Behold, the Lord maketh the earth empty. The most I said, he's making his place empty, okay, because you owe low life to the ass damn Europeans. That's one. Okay, I'm not going to say I got two. Okay, the most I said, he's making the whole earth empty. Okay, you Europeans have abused every damn thing on this earth, man. Okay, not only is the natural youth extorted, okay, you done dried up the natural resources in the earth, the oil. Okay, like the brother just mentioned a couple minutes ago, he said the minerals of the earth, you've destroyed every damn thing and you've abused everything, man. What the hell do you think is left? You even got the animals, the ones, the animals that are naturally supposed to protect us and protect the earth. You didn't use them up, but you got them locked up in the cages. How the hell is the animal supposed to control everything, okay, supposed to be predatory and control the animals that attack you if you got them locked up in the damn cages, man? You've destroyed this earth, and the most high said he's going to destroy them that destroy the earth. Read it again. Behold, the Lord maketh the earth empty. Most I said he's making the earth empty. Okay, you so-called Europeans, okay, you're the main culprits on this earth that got to pay. What makes you think that you're going to get away with what the hell you're getting away with? Okay, the most I see you, okay? The most I hold the receipts, and the most I got the receipts, okay, on the criminal acts that you've done. Right. Just like the Heavenly Father says, okay, you got what? You got his treasure. You stole something from the Heavenly Father, and that's his jewels, and that's his treasure, okay, and that's the children of Israel, all right? Not only have you physically went around the earth, and you physically manipulated the nations, and have ripped and robbed and raped them, and have stole their jewelry, but the Most High said you got his children in captivity as well, too, kidnapped, and you stole his jewels, and the Most High gonna get it back. Okay, we yeah. getting the hell up out of Egypt, whether you owe Uncle Tom damn niggas, believe it or not. Okay, you Puerto Ricans want to join us or not? We getting the hell up out of Egypt. Okay, we're the modern day Moses, okay, and the so-called white man is the modern day Pharaoh, and we come to him day in and day out, and we tell him that we getting the hell up out of Egypt. Okay, whether or not you want to believe it or not, we're going to make a second exodus, okay, out of America. So spiritual Egypt, man, got the children of Israel locked up up under the hands of our damn enemy. This time it ain't gonna be no second or no third exodus. Okay, this time we was captive, okay, up under all nations. This time, this is it for the children of Israel. After the hands we've been up on our oppressors, okay, you Europeans, you're the last ones, okay, that done had a hand that oppressed us and slavery. This is it for the children of Israel. After this captivity, that's it. We gotta rule forever and ever and even forever. This is it for the children of Israel. This old stinking damn captivity. Come on, King.
Behold, the Lord maketh the earth empty right. and maketh it waste. That's right. The Most High said he's making his place waste. Okay? You got the animals locked up. Okay? You got everything upside down. Okay? Like the brother brought out earlier, man. The things that's supposed to be are not. Like the Heavenly Father says, this place is upside down. It's negative. Okay? You got the damn devil ass damn white man. That's true. That's it for me for tonight. You got the damn devil white man damn ruling this damn earth in unrighteousness. Anything you can think of, okay, that's righteous, the damn white man is behind. He's against. Okay? The damn white man is a devil that the Bible speaks of and he's here to do Satan's work. Come on. That's right. And make it waste. That's right. The most I said he making this place waste. And make it waste. Uh -huh. And turn it upside down. The most I said his place is turned upside down. Anything that you can think of, okay, that's righteous, okay, the so-called white man is behind it and he has a negative aspect behind it. So the most I said his place is turned upside down, your minds is turned upside down. How in the hell you saying, here it is, 2023, okay, and you still believing in Chris Kringle and Santa Claus. How do you believe in that? Okay, how are you still teaching your kids that? Right. Okay, it's all sponsored by you so-called Europeans. You're like big damn kids, man. You walk around this earth like big damn cartoon characters, okay, that believe in rabbits, okay, talking, okay, Easter bunnies and Santa Claus. Right. That's all a damn farce. Okay, that's all fables, like the Heavenly Father says. You're supposed to do the law and statutes and commandments that the Heavenly Father put in this book called the Bible. Well, damn fables, man. Christmas. Okay, reindeers flying in the damn sky, talking with a damn red nose. Rudolph the red nose reindeer had a shiny nose. That's all fables, man. Okay, you damn adults. Okay, that's three and a half. You damn adults. Okay, you go around and you you celebrating fables. Okay, the things that you've been taught by your parents and your parents have taught you, and you teach the stupidity to your damn kids. Come on. Come. Huh. And turn it upside down. Most I said this place is upside down. Homosexuality running rampant when the Heavenly Father say you're supposed to be fruitful and multiply. You can't do that with a man and a man and a damn woman want to be a damn transvestite. Okay? It's totally impossible. No matter how much you Europeans try to duplicate a damn woman, okay, you can't. Okay, it's totally impossible. Okay, the most I gave you that choice at birth. You're not supposed to give your kids a choice. Okay, talking about they could be a man or a damn woman, a boy or a girl. The Heavenly Father made that clear at birth. Okay, with the anatomy that he gave your damn kids, man. You're not supposed to be second guessing nothing like that. That goes to show you the evil of this damn place, man. Okay, you were taught evil, okay, by your damn friendly neighborhood white man. Come on. And turn it upside down. This place is upside down. Like Diana Ross made that record back in the 80s, upside down. Okay, you so-called black men and you damn Puerto Ricans. Okay, you got the minds of Satan, man. Okay, you walk past us and got the nerve to be mad at us when we teaching you right. Okay, the most I said this place is upside down. Turn it upside down uh -huh. and scatter it abroad. That's right, the most I said this man has scattered every damn body abroad, man. The animals aren't in their right place no more, man. Right. What is a whale doing in the Bronx River, man? Right. What the hell is a whale doing in the Bronx River? Okay, you wonder why he turned up dead, okay, on the major deacon some damn way, man. All right, even the pigeons, okay, and the, and the hawks, they're not in their right habitat, man. Okay, even us. As Israelites, we're not in our right habitat as well, too. Come on, King. And scattered the broad. That's right. The Most High said, and this man, okay, everything is scattered abroad. Okay? The minds of people, okay, are scattered abroad. Okay? The human beings are scattered abroad. The Egyptians, everything is scattered abroad, man. Okay? Because the devil's ruling. Come on. And scattered the broad. The inhabitants thereof. The Most High said, scattered abroad. The inhabitants thereof. You Europeans, you fit the script. Okay? You fit the script. Okay, up that. It's no way of getting around this, man. Okay, you can march, you can sing, you can dance, you can fight, you can break dance, you can do what the hell you want to do. You Europeans are going into captivity and slavery. Okay, the one that was right here with the cross, I wrote on his cross and said, Are you ready? Okay, the question is, are you ready for damn slavery? Okay, are you ready to pay back, okay, what you've done with us? Okay, are you ready to pay back, okay, the wrong that you've done to the people on the sign? Got the damn nerve to have a cross that says, are you ready? Okay, read your precept, King, and go back uh, to what I had you holding. Come on, King. This is the book of Job, chapter 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Yeah, we can't break that down no more clearer to you. Okay, how many ways you want us to put that one right there? Okay, the most I said, the what? The earth. The whole entire earth. 
okay? That doesn't mean a separate part, okay? That doesn't mean an independent, okay? It means the whole entire earth is given to who? Into the hand of the wicked. The Most High made it plain to you, okay? He said the whole entire earth, okay, is given into the hands of the wicked. That don't fit nobody else but the legislature and the government, okay, and the society. Right. Everything that you can think of that they've come up with, the amendments, the congressional voting system, okay, what? The amendments, okay? They're what? They're against, <laughs> there go our boy. They're against, okay, the one that's supposed to retire. They're against, okay, what the Heavenly Father says to do in this Bible. Okay, so the Heavenly Father said to who? The earth. The Most High said the earth is given where? Into the hand of the wicked. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Okay, anything imaginable, okay, that you can think of out here that's against the Bible. Okay, you so-called Europeans are against. And what kills me, okay, is that you so-called black men and black women that's out here, along with you Puerto Ricans and you West Indians, you still think that this man loves you, man. Right. It's a difference between a friend and being friendly. Like I always say, yeah, they'll be friendly with you, okay, until they get what they want and they put that damn knife in your damn back, okay, but to be a friend, nah, okay, it's not in their blood to be friendly to you. The Heavenly Father made them up differently. He made them, okay, to be the negative, okay, that the Bible speaks of, the opposite of you. You're supposed to be the righteous, okay, and they are the negative, okay, just like the Bible says during the time of Esau and Jacob, you're the righteous, they're the negative. They fit the script. Go back to what I had you holding. You got a precept? and holy. Okay, because right, because the Mosai said what? He said the earth is given into the hands of the wicked and if not, then who? Who the hell who the hell did put around the earth and destroyed every damn thing and fit the script, okay, of the wicked? There's no way around that, okay? Even college professors, I've stood before white college professors and even they had to agree with that, man. Okay, but you so-called black men and black women, you want to be a part and you want to feel accepted by these damn Europeans. So what you do, you go around and you be a part of what they do. Okay, you be simple like they do. You party with them. You cut your hair like them. You put on makeup like they do. You right. vote like they do. You vote, you walking around, you, you got on a damn pair of tight khakis. Okay, like they do. Right okay, come on brother, you got what I had you holding? Come on now, Jeremiah, uh, Jeremiah 3 and 21. Okay, you got son? Come on, King. It's the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 6, verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world. There you go. There you go. Very good. Okay, the most I said, Esau is the what? Is the end of the world. Here it come. Rumpa bump bum. Okay, the most I said, here it come. Okay, rumpa bump bum. Esau is the end, okay, of the world. It ain't nothing else coming after this right here. You party, okay, like I said, you living in the last days, okay, but you so-called Europeans got everything backwards. You think that you gonna rule and you think that you gonna get a piece, okay, of the pie, okay, at the end of all of this. After all the damn dirt, okay, and the lynching and the evil that you have done, okay, not only to us, but all the other nations as well too. There's nothing left for you to do, okay, but go and repay and go into captivity. Okay, so the most I said the earth, okay, Esau is what? Esau is the end of the world. That's it. Rump a bump bum, get ready. Okay, ain't nothing, ain't nothing a vote can do for you, black man. Ain't no amount of school and no degree, okay, that can save you out of this condition that you're in. Right. Because the damn white man and these Europeans, okay, in these schools, okay, they print damn degrees also. Who the hell you think print degrees? They had this thing figured out a long time ago, okay, before you black man joined the damn frat. Okay, before you became a damn capper, okay, or a damn Q dog, they had this thing figured out before you, man. You black man, you walk around, you can't tell you a damn thing. Okay, you go to school and learn two damn things, the poison of these damn Europeans. Okay, you think you something, you feel good, okay, because you in a damn frat. Okay, the only damn thing you doing, you stomping and being a damn idiot for the damn white man. That's all you doing, man. There ain't no brotherhood. Brotherhood is what you see us doing. Brotherhood is what you see the black men and these young black men up here doing is what we doing. That's true brotherhood. That's the brotherhood that Christ loves. We'll do anything for this. We'll die for this, man. You black men, you ain't black men. You ain't men no damn more. You don't know how to be men anymore because the white man have brought you down to a damn child level, man. You walking around these HBCUs, you stomping and talk about you a damn cute dog or you a damn capital. You a damn stomping damn idiot. That's all you are, man. Right. Okay? Working for the damn white man. And you do that and you come out and you damn work for your damn enemy. That's the big secret right there. Oh, brother, I can do this and I can, you know, I can put on a certain color tie and all of a sudden you want to give me a damn job. <laughs> That's a damn joke, man. That's a damn joke. 
Read Jeremiah 3 and 23. Come on, King. Con, this is the book of Jeremiah 3 and 23. Truly in vain is salvation hoped for. Read it from the top again, King. Come on, say it with me. Jeremiah 3 and 23. Truly in vain, Most I said truly in vain. Say it with me. The Most I said truly, okay, in vain. Okay, meaning no, okay, meaning insignificance. The Most I said truly in what? Truly in vain, Most I said truly in vain. Okay, that's what you Europeans got to understand. Okay, is that truly in vain that you're doing this for nothing. Okay, the Pope is the biggest damn witch on this damn planet. Okay, everybody go over there and look at his damn yarmulke. Okay, look at them damn rings, the Masonic rings he got. And you think that he's the closest thing to the Heavenly Father. The Pope is the main damn culprit and he works for the spirit of Satan. Okay, that's what you're going to find out. The Pope is the number one lieutenant and captain for damn Satan, man. All right? And he got everybody damn fool over in the Vatican. He got you all simple damn Negroes and Puerto Ricans, okay, bowing down to him. Oh, the Pope, don't touch him. Oh, Lord, I got to go down. Oh, Joe Lowe's. You're some simple, simple people, man. Read it again. Truly in vain. Most I said truly in vain. Meaning nothing for nothing, man. Truly in vain. Come on, you're wasting your time. Come on. Is salvation. Most I said, that's that word right there. Give me Mark 77. Uh, yeah. The most I said, truly in vain is what? Is salvation. Everybody wants salvation. Are you ready? <laughs> Everybody wants salvation. Truly in vain, what? Is salvation. That's that word right there. Okay? That's that word right there. That's what you so-called black men and black women need. You need salvation. The word salvation just means somebody needs saving, man. Nobody on this earth needs saving more than you so-called black men and black women. Right. You can vote from now, okay, to Barack Obama get back in damn office, right. okay? Barack Obama was in office. You know what Barack Obama did when he was in office? He sought the bill, okay, to let your kids become lesbians and damn homosexualities. Right. Okay, that's what Barack Obama did. Okay, as the whole, as what? Okay, Barack Obama, okay, signed the bill. It's because it gets so busy with people walking. Testing one, two, yeah. Barack Obama signed the bill, okay, to allow your kids, to give your kids a choice. Whether they want to be, okay, a homosexual man or a lesbian woman. Right. So I said, truly in vain is what? It's salvation. It's salvation, that's that word right there. Okay, it's salvation. Everybody wants salvation, but they don't understand this Bible. Everybody want to read the Bible, okay, until it's brought out to them. Everybody want to understand the Bible until the Bible is read to them. Ain't that right, Andy? Come on. Truly in vain. Uh, the most I said, truly in vain is what? It's salvation. It's salvation. What? Hopeful. Hopeful. Everybody hoping for salvation. Everybody hoping for salvation, but they just don't get it. The most I said from Genesis to Revelation, okay, that salvation is for the Israelites, okay, it's for the Jews. The white man that's over there, okay, Israel is not a Jew, okay, he's a, a convert and an imposter, right. okay, 740 AD, this man converted himself over to your nationality. He's the biggest damn imposter on this earth. What the hell do you think Hollywood is all about, man? Okay, it's a place that's made up so they can be and pretend to be any damn body they want. That's right. And one of the biggest people that they masquerading themselves to be, okay, is the Israelites, the children of the Heavenly Father. While you so-called black men and black women around here, okay, in your captivity in America, walking around with your damn enemy, looking simple as hell, okay, looking simple, okay, when the most eyes calling you back to return. You better return yourself back to this Bible in its last days. The days of being free and doing what the hell you want to do is just about over. Boy, come on. Truly in vain is salvation hoped for from the hills. Everybody hoping for salvation. Everybody, okay, from the hills, okay, meeting the other nations, come on. And from the multitude of mountains. Yeah, from the multitudes of the mountains, okay. You know that's talking about people because a mountain can't get salvation, a rock can't get salvation. So you know that's talking about people, okay, that's a parable right there, come on. Truly in the Lord our God, is the salvation of Israel. Oh, wait a minute now. The Heavenly Father said, truly in vain is salvation hoped for from everybody, but truly in vain is summed up as salvation for who? Truly in the Lord our God That's right. is the salvation of Israel. Most I said the salvation is for Israel. 
How many ways can we explain that? You black men and black women, you better return yourself back to the, to, to the Heavenly Father, okay, in these last days before it's all over with. We ain't got much time in this place. We ain't got much time in this place, like the brother was saying earlier. Okay, the days of playing games and the days, okay, of playing and doing what the hell you want to do, that's just about over. The Heavenly Father created something in the Bible called laws, statutes, and commandments. Okay, that's what makes you live. That's what gives you balance on the earth. That's what makes decisions for you. Not your damn enemy, not voting. Okay, not listening to the people, okay, that put you over in captivity. Okay, the most High says, do his laws and live. You don't do them, you die. Every damn thing this place stands for is wicked as hell, man. All right, like the brother said, we can't stand this damn place, man. This place sickens us to our damn stomach, man. Okay, you so-called Negroes, you black men and black women, the only way you getting out of this oppression, you better return yourself back to Christ, okay, which is a black man according to the Bible, okay? The Heavenly Father says salvation is surely hope for and vain from the hills, but salvation is truly for who? Truly in the Lord our God is the salvation of Israel. So I said truly, okay, is our salvation, okay, in Israel. We can't get no more plainer than that right there. Okay, tell your damn bubblegum, okay, big head pastor to break that one down with his fat damn neck, man. Okay, the only thing these damn pastors want to do is roll around Jeremiah 23. The only thing these pastors want to do is roll their damn neck around, the damn bacon grease popping out of their damn neck. Okay, the old deacon fat back, okay, and pastor pig feet. That's all they want to do, man. And you niggas, you just love it, man. You up there hallelujah. You up there glorifying damn lies like the brother said. You want to know. You want to smooth things, man. That's what our people love. You always want the easy way out of things, man. But it takes real men to come out here and do the job that we're doing. You're looking at real men. Okay, real men are the die for this. You black men, you don't know what to die for no more, man. You out there gang banging on your own damn brothers, man. But the enemy is walking right amongst you, man. Why don't you go ba gang bang at the damn White House, man? I don't understand that. You rather shoot your own damn brother in the damn street over a damn color or over some damn money or dollar that he owes you and your enemy walking right by you every damn day. The same gun that you done shot your damn brother with, the enemy made that for you to shoot at each other. Take <laughs> that's a, a trip and a half right there. Okay, when you want to stop gang violence, you need to protest the Remington family. How about protest the Mossberg family? Right. How about protesting the state laws, okay, that promote and say you can shoot one another, man? Okay, but a lot of you black men and black women, you lost, man. You lost, and you better wake up fast, okay? Call what I had you reading, and come on, King, say with me now, come on. It's the book of Mark, chapter 7, verse 7. Look How be it in vain do they worship me? Most I said this, okay, there's that word vain again. Okay, the most I said, how be it in what? How be it in vain? The most I said, how be it, okay, in vain? The most I said, how be it in what? How be it in vain? The most I said, how be it in vain? There's that word vain again. Okay, we're going to throw that around every so often tonight, okay? The most I said, how be it in vain? What? Do they worship me? That's right, in vain. Okay, Christmas is worshiping the Heavenly Father in vain. Right. Eating chitlins. Okay, it's worshiping the Heavenly Father in vain. Pick feet, pick hog balls, pick knuckles. It's worshiping the Heavenly Father in vain, man. But you so-called black men and Puerto Ricans, you done switched everything around. Now you call every damn thing now a friendly, a family-friendly day. You just as evil and wicked as you damn want to be, man. Okay, you following up behind the offices, okay, of your damn enemy, the damn white man, man. So the most I said, how be it in what? In vain. The most I said in vain. Okay, in vain. Okay, do you what? Do they worship me? That's right, do you worship him? Okay, you can switch the name around all you damn want to all day long, okay, and tell every damn thing, okay, a family friendly day. Okay, you going around celebrating Halloween, talking about happy trunk or treat day. You're a bunch of wicked damn people, man. Okay, you can switch every damn thing around just to fit your character and your evil needs, man. That's all you did. But it's the same damn thing. Okay, if you're going to switch things around, okay, and talk about family friendly day, why don't you get rid of the damn turkey? Right. Okay, why don't you get rid of the mac and cheese? Why don't you get rid of the damn potato salad and the cranberry sauce? Okay, because why? Because you still love your damn slave master. Okay, it ain't no way around it. You niggas are just as evil as you damn want to be, man. Okay, you go around and change up and switch up every damn thing. You worse than the damn white man. Happy damn 
I'm happy family day, man. You a bunch of evil damn people, yeah. man. Come on. How be it in vain? Oh, so I said, how be it in vain do they do what? Do they worship me? Yeah, that's worshiping the Heavenly Father in vain. No matter how you twist it around, no matter what you say, you want to twist every damn thing around, the most I said, hi, being in vain, okay, are you worshiping him? You can put Christmas lights from now until next year, okay? You can't read that in the Bible, come on. How be it in vain do they worship me? Teaching for what? Teaching for doctrines, the commandments of men. Most I said, teaching for doctrines, okay, the commandments of man. Okay, East is a commandment of man. Right. Okay, Halloween is a commandment of man. Right. Okay, Christmas, okay, is a commandment of man. You can't go in the Bible and find where it says Christ was born on December the 25th. Right. If somebody could come up here, we'll shut down and we'll never come back out here again. Right. Right. Okay, so then you got to ask yourself, if December the 25th is not in the Bible, okay, that same book that you got, then what the hell is my pastor teaching me, man? Right. Okay, you got to ask yourself two damn things, man. Okay, if it's not there, if Christ wasn't born on December the 25th, then why does, okay, it symbolize something, okay, but you so-called black men and black women, you got a precept, you black men and black women, you got a precept, you black men and black women, you got to wake up to that fact too. Teach it for the doctrines and commandments of man. Teach it for doctrines, the commandments of men. For laying aside the commandments of God. Yeah, the most I say, you lay aside his commandments, Hanukkah, Purim, like the brother just mentioned. Okay, Passover. You lay it aside. Okay? It's in the Bible where it says you're supposed to celebrate Purim. Okay, the feast of dedication, like we're celebrating now. Okay, not Halloween or Christmas. We want the red nosed reindeer. Okay, like our people have celebrated. See, that's funny to him. Ain't that funny, Buddha? Okay, not Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. When the hell you seen a damn reindeer fly, man? Okay, when the hell you ever seen a reindeer with a red nose? But do your peers, you teach that, okay, to our people, because what? Because your big damn kids, your damn self. And you didn't talk to black men and black women into little damn kids, man. That's how our people think, man. They got the mind of damn children now, man. You think King David went around, okay, the earth and celebrated Christmas, man? Okay, you think they went around when they came off the slave ships? You think they celebrated a day called Halloween? Okay, you was taught that by your damn enemies, the damn white man, these damn Europeans. Come on, King. For laying aside the commandments of God. Oh, so I say, you lay aside his commandments, okay? You put those to the side and do what? Ye hold the traditions of men. Oh, so I say, ye hold the traditions of man. Okay, Valentine's Day. You black men and black women, you go around here, you're holding damn hands. So many damn divorces go on during Valentine's Day. You don't even know that. All these damn libraries, we're not understand, Kazak, is they got all these damn libraries out here, all this information that's on the line now, and you still don't look up nothing. You just do what your damn slave master tell you to do. If the damn white man tell you it's right, you so damn scared, okay, and so damn fearful, okay, of what your slave master may say, if you go against Okay, you scared, you got that slave, okay, uh, 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 euphoria, okay, in your damn brain, man. You still got that slave damn mind. That white boy came past here when we was um, just opening up. He got his damn chest all stuck out, you know, like we supposed to look down on it. Oh, cracker, please. Stop it, okay? We are different breed of Puerto Ricans and black men up here, okay? That don't work on us, okay? That old scare tactic that you use on another black man, that don't work on us, okay? What you got to say, Satan? What you got to say? Here it is right here, big, big old child. There you go, there you go. Okay, here it is, big old child. There you go. Okay, yeah, that's right, okay? Hey, let me, uh, hey, look, let me ask you a question. Who you pray to? You pray to the Lord right here? Ah, that ain't what I'm, that right, that ain't what I'm saying, huh? Now, who's this man right here? All right, give him, hey, let, let him hang around, Bethany, for a little while. Let him hang around, Katie, for a little while. Hey, let me, hey, let me ask you a question. Who's this right here? Okay, who's this right here? She look a little smarter than you. Who's this right here, Bethany? Who's this right here? Your, your name is Aaron, okay? That, yeah, that's a new one. I gotta remember that one, cause I, Aaron. Okay, right. But let me ask you a question. Okay, whoa, well, wait a minute now. She's a little, she's a little sober than you, so I'm gonna stick with her. You can, right after I answer her question. Okay. No, 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 Aaron. Okay, right, right. Hey, listen. Let me ask you a question, Aaron. According, oh, give him a hand. Right, right. She married to who? She married to who? Lucifer. There you go. Okay. Let me get you, that's the first time, man. good gracious, he came out 
and said it before I even said anything. Don't he said she's married, Lucifer. Let me ask you a question. You said this is who said it again? You don't say it all According to what? She said Jesus Christ. Say According to what? Hey, Aaron, this is who according to what? She's beautiful. I'm going to answer your question right now, okay? Give me the color. What are y'all giving the color of Christ? Okay, why she, okay, why she scared, why she scram on this one, I, okay, all right, Mark, right, okay. Hey, let me ask you a question, Erin, do you, do you believe in the Bible? Oh, say it again. Let me ask you a question. What did you get for selling your soul? What, what did you get? Okay, you said, hey, I wasn't expecting this. Right, all right, Erin, listen. Let me, let me ask you a question, okay? If I can prove, listen, if I can prove right, if I can prove to you that Christ is a black man according to the Bible, okay, what would you have to say? Read the color of Christ real quick for Aaron okay, and Bob Dylan. Come on. This is the book of Revelation. What? Don't go nowhere, Bob Dylan. Please stay. Okay, please stay. This is the book of what? The book of Revelation 1 and 14. Okay, now is this gonna give you the this gonna give you the color of Christ, Satan? He admitted it. He said he said he said I'm Lucifer. She said he said she's married to Lucifer the devil. Let's give him another hand, man. That's right, the wicked flee. The wicked flee. He said he sold his soul to the devil. He sold his soul to himself. Come on. His head and his head. He said his head. Okay, the hair on his head and his head. This is for Aaron and Bob Dylan. Come on. We're white like wool. He said they were white like wool and woolly. Okay, we're going to get it for the camera. Come on. As white as snow. As white as snow. This is giving you the description of Christ. Bob Dylan left. Come on. And his eyes was a flame of fire. His eyes was a flame of fire. Give me the description of Christ. Come on. And his feet like unto fine brass. And his feet were like on the fine brass, Skippy. Come on. As if they burned in a furnace. As if you took that brass and burned it in a furnace. Okay, it says Christ is a basket man. Okay, if you go over to Jerusalem, if you go over to Rome, if you go to Russia, if you go anywhere in Europe, okay, if you go to Italy, if you go to Germany, okay, if you go to Europe, Red Bulls, okay, Okay, the color doesn't change. Okay, Christ is a dark-skinned man. Okay, with woolly hair. Come on, as if he did what? As if he burned in a furnace. He took that brass and burned it in a furnace. Okay, that's the color that you get of Christ. Okay, come on, King. All right, all right. We see you tomorrow. Okay, King. All right, all praise to the most high. It says if he took the brass and burned it in a furnace. Okay, that's the color of Christ. Okay, I'm going to read two more. Then I'm going to let the mighty uh, 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 Maha come on up here and get some. You got something, King? You gonna fi finish Martin, finish reading Mark seven and eight? Come on. For laying aside the commandments of God. Most I said our people lay aside. Okay, the commandments of the heavenly Father and do what? Ye hold the traditions of men. Most I said our people hold the traditions of men. Now that there, and that goes to show you right there how dumb they are. Okay, that goes to show you how dumb they are. Here in 2023. Okay, if you still believe that the damn white man is Christ, something is mentally wrong with you, man. Right. All of this internet out here, all of this, all of this truth that's coming out now, okay, and they still that goes to show you the pride of white America. Okay, they gonna go. They, don't soon I was proving to them, okay, that Christ a black man, they got the hell up out of here, man. Right. Okay, you so-called Puerto Ricans and Negroes, you're greater than you think. Okay, you got no reason to fear the damn Europeans, man. Okay, you look at us like we strange and we doing something wrong, okay. But the most high got your number. The most high is holding the receipts, okay, for all of y'all. Come on. For laying aside the commandments of God, ye hold the traditions of men. The most high said you hold the traditions of man. Okay, like I said, Christmas, you got a precept, King. Christmas, okay, Thanksgiving, all that's the tradition of men, okay? Sponsored by the friendly neighborhood, your friendly neighborhood, devil. Come on. Call and read it, King. Come on. This is the book of Jeremiah 23 and 1. Okay, I'm going to let y'all have some fun. Y'all can pull some precepts if y'all want. Come on. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture. Yeah, the most I said it's not going to be a happy ending, okay, for you so-called pastors out here. The TD snakes, okay, the Creflo dollars. Okay, I haven't seen Creflo in a while, man. Anybody seen him lately? I haven't seen Creflo in a while, man. Okay, somebody better go check the receipts with him. He may be along with Bill Cosby, okay? He may have, I haven't seen old Creflo because I've a long time, man. So the most I said, whoa, be on to the pastors that do what? That destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor. The most I said that destroy, okay, the sheep, okay, of his pastor. Don't worry about how we deliver the message, okay? You ain't protesting the damn white man, okay, teaching your damn kids that poison in school, okay? How about your kids delivering the damn message of poison, still talking about George Washington, okay, didn't chop down a cherry tree? You ain't worried about that or that damn.
damn deliverance of that damn message. Okay, so what the hell are you worried about us? Talking about y'all brother speak too rough. It's y'all delivery. What about the damn school teachers that's teaching lies to your kids every damn day? Right. Nobody protests that, uh -huh. Nobody protests that, Shamar. Nobody say nothing, okay? You send your damn kids to school, okay? Be good girls and boys. Your kids come back. Talk about Albert Einstein, talk about Jones, and talking about uh, Andy Warhol, your kids don't say nothing. They don't say a damn thing. Your kids are big grown adults, you don't say nothing. It should be protest every day at a black and Puerto Rican school at the lies that white America is still teaching your damn kids. But you so-called black men and black women, you don't care. You have a damn transvestite coming in, open up a book, teach your damn kids, you ain't got a damn thing to say. Right. Everybody was up in arms when that black woman came in that classroom and ripped down, okay, the LGBT flag. Everybody, she, why she do that? She shouldn't have did The sister was absolutely correct in what she did. Right. The problem is, you black people are so brainwashed and you love your damn soul master so much, and you're scared to speak up. Not us. The most I said is prophets in these last days ain't gonna be pushed in the corner no longer. You got something, King? Read it and read, call it and read it, King. Come on. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 9. How long will thou sleep, O slugger? Yeah, the most I said, how long you on sleep, Israel? Yo, sluggards, man. Okay? You walking around here on Glenwood Avenue in Raleigh in 2023. Sleep. Right along with your damn enemy. Like I said, there's a difference between a friend, okay, and being friendly. A friend ain't gonna hang you. A friend ain't gonna put bad, okay, poison in your damn food. A friend ain't gonna do what? A friend ain't gonna poison the damn water that you gotta drink. A friend ain't gonna lead you, okay, into captivity. A friend ain't gonna break your damn kids. A friend ain't gonna tell your kids, okay, it's okay to be a damn transsexual. Your damn friend. Yeah, I know they will, okay, because they was holding hands a couple minutes ago. Okay, a friend ain't gonna do that. Okay, they just being friendly. That's all they doing. Okay, until it's time to put that damn knife, okay, up your behind. Okay, that was three, that was it. Okay, I ain't gonna say no more. Okay, until it's time to put that knife, okay, up your behind. Okay, that's being friendly. Okay, that's the what, the spirit, okay, that the Europeans have. They got a serpent-like spirit. Okay, the most I tells you that they smile in your face, their words are smoother, okay, than oh, okay? But deep down inside, they want to kill you, man. The so-called Europeans, these damn Europeans, they hate your guts. The most I say, Esau hated Jacob. That's the reason why the so-called white man got that inclination, okay, towards us. You ain't got to think too hard on that. The proof is in his actions, how he treats you, how he gets down. You so-called black men and black women, you just love to have it so, man. Okay, the most I said what? In these last days, said he's coming like a thief in the night, man. You finish with that? Come on. How long will thou sleep, O flutter? When will thou arise out of thy sleep? Yeah, the most I said, when you gonna rise out of your sleep? You niggas, you love sleeping, man. Okay, you love sleeping. Okay, except for when you gotta go work for your damn slave master. They tell you to be at nine o'clock, you dig rolls, you there at eight o'clock in the damn afternoon, man. Okay, yeah, in the morning time. Yes, sir. Yes, master. Yes, master. Okay, that's right. Come on, that's right, Billy Bob. Okay, yeah. You know what? Esau is a damn clown, man. Esau thinking every damn thing is a joke. Okay, but we done had the last laugh and we had them damn chains around your damn neck, right. Billy Bob. Okay, you can sit there, you can laugh all your damn words and think everything's a damn joke. Okay, but we done had that last damn laugh, man. Laugh now, okay, you gonna cry later. Okay, if you ain't got nothing left, I'm gonna let the uh, officer uh, Maha, okay, come up. All right, he got one more, Maha. Come on, get ready, come on. Ecclesiasticus 12 and 10. Never trust thine enemy. Oh, the most I said this, okay? We gonna throw that word enemy around for about 10 more seconds. Okay, the most I said, never trust who? Never trust thine enemy. The most I said, never trust your damn enemy, man. Okay, if you think that you so-called black men and black women, you think it's okay, okay, to trust your damn enemy, okay, in these last days, a man don't change, man. When are you gonna wake up and find it out? Just because he gave you a damn little raise, a little 3% raise on your damn job, and you got a damn yearly bonus, okay, on your damn job, you think, oh, the white man, he ain't so bad out though. He gave me a, he gave me a little bonus, and he gave me a 3% raise. Mouse ain't so bad out though. Y'all the problem. He gave you a damn bonus. What the hell? you think he making? What the hell you think if he could afford to give you a bonus, what the hell you think he making, man? And you think the most I says what? In Ecclesiastes 7 and 7, a gift does what? Destroy the heart. Okay, come on. Never trust thine enemy. Most I said never trust your enemy, black man, black woman. Come on. 
For like as iron rusted, the most I said, just like iron rusted, and you know as long as water drip, okay, on iron, you know sooner or later that iron gonna rust, okay? The white man gonna turn on you black men in Puerto Ricans like a fake damn gold chain in these last days, okay? Just like that damn gold chain gonna turn, it's sure, cause I'm gonna turn your damn mint a color of green, okay? The white man's what? The white, the most I said, just like iron rusted, come on, so is his wickedness. So I said, sure, surely. Okay, it's his wickedness. Okay, gonna turn on you. Okay, because it's in his nature. It's in his spirit. Okay, he can't tell the truth or do the right thing. Okay, if it saves his damn life. Right. If that's the truth, if that's the case, then we'd have been the hell up out of here. It wouldn't be no need to vote. It wouldn't be no need to go to church no more, okay, if the damn enemy was doing the right damn thing. He can't do the right thing or tell the truth to save his damn life. This man got to be continue to do wickedness, man. That's his damn job, okay? He's the damn devil, okay, doing the Satan's damn work. That's what he's put on this earth to do. And the more you Negroes and the closer we get to the last days, that's the more you're gonna find out, okay? Your damn next door neighbor, okay, Bethany, Kyle, okay, Effie, okay, name some more, Aaron. Aaron that's right, Gregory. That's right, name Lindsay, Jessica. That's right, Lindsay, okay? Lindsay, all of them. Okay, they're gonna turn on you like a damn thing. Just like the scriptures say, man. Who you say, Gregory? That was a good one, Gregory. I got I gotta use that one. That's right. Gregory, that's right, Billy. Okay, all of them. Skippy. Did you get Kyle already? Hey, Kyle, I hit Kyle already. That's right. Okay, that's right. And with that, okay, that's it for me. My time is up. All right, all praise to you. How are you? How are you? For all for you these beautiful readers right here. All praise to the most high. Shout out.